What's up everyone? Hope you're doing all well and good this evening. Um, oh, I've been dreading making this video pretty much all week, so uh, let's get the good stuff out of the way first. Um, first of all, the response to the video I did on Perspective last week, uh, just over a week ago, that was really good, so thank you for that. It seems like a lot of people are uh, in the same boat, and if not, at least kind of uh, understood where I was coming from, which is great, so thank you for the response to that, that was, that was great. Um, the, uh, the the road trip to York video, I loved making that, that was so much fun. Uh, it was so much fun doing it, actually being in York, but the video itself turned out much better uh, than I planned. The, the beginning of it is a little bit a little bit weird in that I was planning on <clears throat> kind of intercutting me talking more than I ended up doing and I just thought I didn't want to bore everybody for the first two or three minutes with just me listen, just looking at me listening to music when the, the journey was kind of the exciting bit. Um, so I just decided to make it a bit of a montage. It worked quite well. Uh, it was a really nice day, uh, really good fun. Um, so yeah, the response to that has been really good as well, considering it was nothing to do with Slimming World. Uh, and if anything, it had lots of non-Slimming World related food in it as well. So, uh, But we'll come back to that in a second. <clears throat> and then secondly to Jane Day, uh, thank you for the recommendation. She mentioned me in one of her videos about the perspective video that I did. And my subscriber count has gone up by about 40 odd people uh, in the last few days. So thank you for that. Thank you to everybody who's joined, who's kind of... Um, I'm bored now and I apologise that this is the first new video that you are uh, kind of seeing. So back to the York experience. I was in York, I went up Wednesday afternoon, stayed over, came back Thursday night. I got home to about 9 or 10 o'clock on Thursday, uh, Thursday night. And I knew I was off plan and if you watched the video you'll have seen that. If you haven't watched that video go and watch it. I mean on Wednesday night I had fish and chips and then a load of sweets. Uh, on Thursday, what I didn't film because I completely forgot is the breakfast that we had, which was basically a sausage bacon cob. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it wasn't the greatest either. And then we went out for a wander um, and we had the, the pub that we sat in for a drink. The, the bit that we sat in was like a little balcony, a bit really nice place, Judges Lodgings in York if you're ever near there. But the bit that we sat in, you couldn't just have a drink. Um, you had to order food at all, which is like ridiculous. How draconian do you need to be? Um, see, we had to we had to order some food, and it sounds terrible, doesn't it? We had to order some food, so we had some cheese and bacon, like potato croquettes, croquet things, which were lovely, and then just some sausages that were flavoured with I can't remember, but they were really nice as well. I picked one up with just my fingers instead of using that little that little chopstick thing that was in there, and I burnt my hand, so that serves me right. Um, but I still ate it, so. And then we went to the pub later on and we had like topped chips and onion rings and then bloody sundae. And then I bought a slice of cake home and ate that. So it was a very, very off plan day. <clears throat> the point was always to get back on on the Friday morning, which I did. I weighed myself Friday morning and I'd gained three pounds, which considering I'd lost six pounds in the previous two weeks, I was not upset about it. I knew there was gonna be a gain and I knew that whatever I gained, I'd be able to somewhat neutralize in the in the next week. So Friday morning, I had a three pound gain. Absolutely not a problem with that. Uh, I apologize if the sun is streaming on my face, by the way, but I can't really do well, I could close the blinds, I suppose, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, so three pound gain Friday morning. That was fine. I was not upset about that at all. I was straight back on plan. I was off on Friday. I wasn't at work last week because it was half term, so I took some days off. Um, and Friday and Saturday, I was absolutely on plan. I can't remember exactly what I had. I think I had Uber on my Instagram. Uh, on the Saturday night, I had like, I think on the Friday night, I had curry, uh, but it was like a free Slimwell curry. The, um, the Saturday, I had... Um, chips and corn stuff, but I, I wasn't over since at all. I'd had speed, I'd had veg, I'd had like a, a mugshot or something for my dinner. So there was absolutely no way I was over since. I then unfortunately made the mistake on Sunday of standing on the scales again, thinking just how much have I done um, from Friday to Sunday, kind of how much progress that I made, how, how well was I doing? And on top of the three pound gain that I'd had coming back from York, I'd somehow get, it was registering another two pounds. So I was on for a five pound gain on Sunday after being on plan, back on plan for two days. Um, and as I put on Instagram, to say that I fell off the wagon at that moment would be an understatement. So uh, I just lost it. I was so annoyed that I'd gone from a three pound gain, which I thought was fine, to being on plan and then somehow adding two pounds to that and I didn't know where it came from because I thought I might have at least stayed the same or dropped a little bit. Um, 
so I was really, really annoyed and I just fell off plan quite badly. And then on Monday, I put a post on Instagram saying that I oh, spent all day thinking about what I could do, what I could do. And I decided that I wasn't going to weigh in and I was going to put a holiday in and just wait until next Thursday. Um, and all that happened, all that that achieved was that I went to Tesco on Monday and bought a stack load of bad stuff. Um, and then on Tuesday, I just thought if I don't... Oh, Sunday night, I, I was off plan totally. Monday, I that was when I decided I'm going to put a, a holiday in. So I went, I just thought, sod it, I'm putting a holiday in. I'm just going to indulge in, you know, whatever. So Sunday and Monday, I was massively off plan. And then on Tuesday, I thought if I don't weigh in by next Thursday, which is like another 10 days away, it's going to be even more and even more. And it's going to really, I'm going to, it's just going to be a spiral effect that's, that I'm going to kind of struggle to get back from. So... Uh, I went on Tuesday, spur of the moment, decided, actually, I didn't, I didn't put a, I was going to text my consultant on Monday after I decided that I wasn't going to weigh in, but I decided not to, and I just thought, I've got time before normal weigh day, which is today, funnily enough, um, and then on Tuesday, I thought, I haven't put a holiday in, I'm, I literally have to drive past um, the building, a, or a building that has a group at five o'clock, so I managed to get out of work a bit earlier. Uh, I went to that one and I just weighed in. I had my belt on, I had my work clothes on, my trousers, so I knew it was going to be bad. Um, <clears throat> but I thought I've just got to kind of own it, I've got to suck it up and just deal with it and then get back on plan for next week. And if I can take some of that off for next week, for next Thursday, then I'll be somewhat happy. Um, but, and prepare yourself for this, because this shocked me, it was a gain of seven and a half pounds, which is over half a stone, which is more than that I'd lost in the previous two weeks. So um, to say I was somewhat annoyed with myself is a big, big understatement because it just felt like, not only had I wasted the, the previous two weeks, but I'd lost, I lost three and a half, then I lost two and a half pounds. So not only had I kind of wasted that, but I'd also just forgotten everything that I'd learned in the last two and a half years. Um, so I came back with a minimal gain, three pounds is nothing really, um, but then somehow, and I don't know why it was re registering an additional two pounds on Sunday, I, I, I wait Sunday morning so it could have been still carrying weight from that, I genuinely don't know, but I don't know A, why I even weighed in on Sunday after two days, I mean I don't know why I did that, and so I can't believe how badly I fell off the plan as well, and I don't know why, and maybe it's because I've had such good losses to then see such a, a an un kind of, I had mean like an un, what's the word, like unexpected gain, I don't know, <clears throat> but it was, oh, it was a horror show, so seven and a half pound gain, uh, and I've just thought, all week I've just thought that, what on earth was I doing, particularly after making that video last week about perspective and just kind of, you know, oh, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, just, you know, I mean, I'm not falling off the, bat, the wagon this badly for quite a long time. And I've upped and downed all year, but I really don't know what to say. Um, I just feel like so annoyed and so, oh, um, but I've now got, well, I've now got a week. I've, so I've been on plan for two days now, waiting on Tuesday, it's now Thursday. And I knew I, I was gonna make a video on Tuesday after actually weighing in, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because I didn't, I don't think I wanted to admit that I'd managed to, to do that badly. So from Sunday to Monday, I'd somehow, or to Tuesday really, I'd gained another two odd two and a half pounds from this from this I mean ah, it's amazing how quickly I can put on weight if I don't pay attention to what I'm eating but anyway in slightly more light-hearted news um, in the the food fight series recently I've done some of the as to slim zone stuff um, I would recommend most of it I would not recommend the lasagna and I'll tell you why because actually there's the lasagna yeah don't do it. it. I mean, it takes 14 minutes. No, it doesn't. It takes 40 minutes in the oven. You can't microwave cook it. It takes 40 minutes in the oven, which is already annoying. And then it turns out like that. It tasted all right, but it looked like crap. And it just, ugh, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, so yeah, 40 minutes for that pile of absolute turd. Um, anyway, there you are. So I'm rambling now. Nine and a half minutes. I don't like these weighty videos to be too long because all you need to know is how much I kind of put on in this case. So now it's Thursday today, obviously, so next Thursday will be my regular weigh-in uh, and we'll just see what damage control I can do. So um, thank you for the response to the perspective video. Thank you for the response to the um, York video. Thank you for the new subscribers and seven and a half pounds on. Wow. I will see you next time.